I just want to take a couple of moments to talk to you about the union's position in relation to the student-centred funding model. We actually support a needs-based model in principle. Uh, the model that's been put forward by Professor Thies is very similar to the Gonski model, uh, a basic amount of money with top-up funding for, for students who, who need it. Uh, our concern is not with the model per se, but with the fact that it's actually been, done, been introduced without any additional funding. This is on top of the $200 million in cuts that we, we saw to school budgets last year. In, in particular, the concern is in relation to the fact that the additional money for, for primary schools is actually coming at the expense of secondary schools, and that is to the tune of $45 million. Now, we don't have that many secondary schools in WA, so $45 million is a huge impost uh, coming again on top of the, the cuts that they already have had this year. What it actually means is that about 250 schools will lose money in this redistribution. Some schools will lose in excess of a million dollars uh, over the next five years from their budgets. That has a huge impact on the capacity of, of that school uh, to actually offer the sort of programs that are needed, particularly for students at educational risk. Over the next few weeks, uh, we'll be asking uh, principals and union reps to give us the feedback about the impact and what is going to happen in, in your school next year. And we want positive uh, feedback as well as negative feedback. Uh, it's really important that we get an accurate picture of how this is actually going to translate into every school across the state next year. So we'll be asking you to do that next week and, um, and asking that that, that occur over uh, term three so that by the beginning of term four we've got a really clear picture of uh, what it's actually going to look like in schools across the state. Thank you for that.